Continuing on the custom card review street, we're going to be talking about a Khalifa Assist Doe Contest coming from Connor's Universe 6 theme celebration. Now, I've already started the email as well as wrote it down inside the notepad, and that's what I'm going to do for anybody that sends me a lot of cards inside of a email. So go ahead and send me custom cards at bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com so I can read your card in the future, as well as you guys witnessing me getting all these older custom cards out the way. Like, for example, this one's from December 12th of 2023 we're making some good progress like uh, for all my uh you know my people that have been keeping up with my custom card reviews i prior to me doing this daily i was very inconsistent i will say that i will say that i think that was because i was focusing on like variety kind of content i feel like now that i'm focusing on two bases of content that being custom card reviews and unit reviews every week of course one a week um i feel like we're on a good pace and for us to be in December of 2023 is very good because that means the next email, like the next email should be this year. So I think we're looking good. Actually, after we get out of December, of course, yeah, we're going to be in January. Yeah, that's good of this year. Yeah, we're looking good. All right. Anyways, so Connor, Connor says, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, Dev. Hey, how you doing, uh, Connor? So I'm here with another send. Sorry if it's a lot. Hey, it's completely fine. You guys send me as much custom cards as you want. People have sent me, like, didn't I get like a 64 page document of an event? I think it was from, who sent it? I think it was something called the gauntlet. Someone sent me a whole, bro. <laughs> I don't remember who it was, but um, yeah. I just can't help but go all out when coming up with ideas. Hey, go, just go all out. I'm, I'm all for it. Uh, I know you have a lot on your plate when it comes to concepts, no rush, but I hope you enjoy these concepts, even if it doesn't show up in the video. Much love to you, GOAT. I appreciate you, Connor. Now, look at that. Today, we're looking at your custom card. We're looking at your custom card today. I want to say cards that I really want to... We're just going to go and go over to it. Guys, look at what Connor made me. Look at this. This is dedication beyond belief so he made us a doe confest of course that being a khalifa universe six saiyans assist he made us a doe confest khalifa with a side banner unit super saiyan 2 uh kabe and we got three easy a that's four easy a's excuse me no that's that's one easy a and uh three sub easy a's. so he gave us basically in total four easy a's for invados who has her easy as well as the tech khalifa and str kill so all these guys pretty much have a easy a's but he still gave us easy a's regardless they're probably broken as hell because you guys know how these concepts go new story event stages easy a airs like what so story event stages easy a air bro okay no no that's awakening no that, yeah it is what <laughs> yo this is like i'm i'm just like wow new difficult event a carnival lr that being a carnival lr hit uh sub easy a added for int hit yeah bro missions for the god event an ex part that has an easy a for the uh tech kill khalifa that goes in the kefla unit as well as the in ssj uh tabe like what bro this is a whole ass celebration bro Connor, you went crazy. This is, this is so fire. A part one celebration, including a Doe Confest with a new side banner unit, as well as easy A's, story event stages, as well as easy A areas, and a new difficult event. And in part two, we get a Carnival LR with a sub easy A, as well as missions for the God event. And there's an EX part with an easy A for Tech Kefla and the Int SSJ Cabe. If this isn't dedication, I don't know what is. I, I, I don't know what is. I, and the fact that I'm seeing this right now, wow, I'm, I'm humbled. Okay, so let's take a look at this uh, Khalifa card. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see a bit more clearer. I think that's fine. Okay, man. All right, so we have a Dokkan Fest TUR, Limitless Growth of a Saiyanist. Hope I said that correctly, uh, Khalifa. And the art does look pretty fire, of course. If you made this, huge shout out to you, Connor. Okay, so the leader skill is tournament participants, bond of friendship, or master evolution, three key, and one 70% across the board. Any 30% of the stats is to universe six or pure 
Saiyan. So let's see what this 200% is, go is looking like. So of course you have tech UI. You have, although they are frauds, I they're my frauds. I love them. Okay. Yeah, the uh, the AGL blue frauds. I love them. All right, I love the card. Um, you have a uh, in Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I mean, come on now. No, no. I I like this unit. But no, um, no, no, no. I like this unit too, but no, no. When are you gonna get easy A? It has to be. This guy low key can be closing in on the easy A. Of course, there are some good units on this category. Yeah, yeah, there is. You do have, uh, of course, the Tech UI Goku. You do have. Uh, who else? Damn, am I, am I capping? You have both the six year easy A's. You have STR UI Goku's easy A as well as the Evo Ken. Um, you do have Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I might have skipped over some characters. Oh, and the um the Dragon Fist Goku. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, let's continue reading the card. Okay, so the passive aiming for awesome power, two key and 160% attack and defense at the start of turn, and plus an additional 60% attack and defense when performing a super attack, which is obviously nice. She has a unrestricted 70% chance to dodge, so there's her defensive uh ability to fall back on. She also is a support type unit to tournament participants, giving them one key and 30% attack and defense. And she also gives an additional one key and 30% attack and defense to characters who are also universe six. So if you are a tournament participant, universe six character, you're getting two key and 60% attack and defense. Oh, so she's basically supporting and she has a defensive ability to fall back on while getting an attack and defensive buff in her passive on super. Obviously nice. She also gives universe six category allies a 6% attack and defense up to 16% for the rest of the battle for each attack evaded. So add on to the two key and 60% attack and defense, you're now getting, for a universe six character, you're getting up to two key and what's that, 76% attack and defense? Yeah, two key and 76% attack and defense. That's for the rest of the battle. So she just has to dodge how many times? It's like three attacks. I think she dodges like three attacks. She easily gets that. Okay, and she foresees enemy super attacks and gets an additional 16% chance to dodge. When there is an ally whose name includes Cave or Kale attacking in the same turn. So, man, you're of course going to be running a Cave or Kale. Um, because you really want to get this off for this foreseeing enemy super attacks and dodge. So, what's that? She can get up to how much? Because she gets that uh, additional 16% chance to dodge. So, that is a, man, she already has a 70% chance to dodge. That's a 86% chance to dodge, I believe, in addition to you having a Cabe or Kale. So with her defensive ability to fall back on, provided you fulfill the conditions that she needs to fulfill, she can get up to a 86% chance to dodge. I think I read that correctly because she has a great chance to dodge at being a 70% chance to dodge. So she can get up to a 86% chance to dodge. She can foresee supers. She is a support type unit up to a max of two key and what's that 76 percent attack and defense so she's giving monstrous support on top of that while getting an attack and defensive buff in her passive on super okay so she's a good support she has a good defensive ability to fall back on she also is foreseeing super attacks so she's looking she's looking good i don't know what else to say here <laughs> um and her super attack that being the crush wave she gets 30 percent attack for one turn does immense and lowers attack so she's not getting defense on her super attack effect but in her passive she's getting 60 percent attack and defense so she's getting that 60 percent defense when she's performing the super anyways in her passive so that makes up for her not having defense on super and her super attack effect lowering attack of course is good uh but yeah that does make up for the, her her uh, 60% defense is making up inside her passive. That's what he said. All right. And of course, the quote, you want to mess with me, punk? <laughs> Guess you're in for it now. And her unit super, uh, you just have to have a cabbie or kale, which is you're pretty much going to have attack in the same turn because you, you want to get this for seeing super attacks and additional dodge chance off. Um, the unit super attack, that being the triple Saiyan advance, she gets 50% attack for one turn as well as doing immense, to, of course, damage to the enemy, and greatly lowering their attack, and giving what? She's giving Universe 6 characters an additional 16% attack and defense for 3 turns, which is a multi-turn support type unit? Running double this character 
with universe six characters around is very very beneficial to them because she's a strong support tech unit because she's already giving how much like right over here she's already giving up to what's that it's two key and 60 nuts no, two key and 76 percent attack and defense add it up wow Okay, yeah, she's basically giving up two key and uh, she's giving up to two key and 76% attack and defense. And when she supers, she's giving an additional 16% attack and defense for universe six characters for three turns. Um okay. Uh mental math, if uh so if she if she supers, of course, getting that unit super off, she would be giving how much? Uh I think that's so she's giving two key and 76 percent attack and defense so what's that that's is that two key and man i i don't want to do this math incorrectly <laughs> i can't do mental math right now let me just grab my calculator <laughs> so that's uh, 76 and that is 16 not great at math i was never great at math when i was uh 92 <laughs> percent. so when she supers She's giving, as a whole, that's two key and 92% attack and defense, right? That's that's correct. That's 16% on top of that uh, 76%. Man. Let's continue. So these are our links. The Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, Battlefield Diva, Prodigies, Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament of Power, and Fierce Battle. Okay, so of course her main key link is going to be relying on, I mean... Definitely gonna be Tournament of Power. Uh, isn't Warriors of Universe 6 a key link too? I don't exactly remember, but I know Battlefield Diva for sure is, right? And of course, Saiyan Lineage is too. Yeah, and these are our categories as shown. And our transformation into Super Saiyan activates upon entering the following attacking turn, transforms into Super Saiyan. So she just transforms on her own. Excuse me. It's not a... No, it's not. Yeah, it's not a... Uh... Like a little transformation uh, condition, like for active skill. Yeah, she just transforms immediately, like a uh, transforming Goku. So, uh, it's a, the same exact thing. Card art looks obviously dope. Okay, so the passive first step to strength, four key and one hundred and eighty percent attack and defense at the start of the turn. She also gets an additional sixty six percent attack and defense when performing a super attack and a fifty percent chance to dodge. So she goes from a seventy percent chance to dodge to a fifty percent chance to dodge, and she also gives uh, tournament participants. Category allies one key and 20% attack and defense, and one key and 20% attack and defense, uh, additionally to universe six characters. An additional attack, defense, and chance to perform a crit up to 66% from 16% with each attack evaded in battle. And an additional 66% attack for season enemy supers, and plus a 16% chance to dodge when it's a caviar kill attacking in the same turn. So she loses the 70% chance to dodge for the 50% chance to dodge, as well as the high support for more attack, defense, and crit chance. So she can get up to a 66% chance to crit, as well as a 66% chance to dodge, and additional 66% attack and defense provided she does dodge. So she still has a 50% chance to dodge to fall back on. She's still looking fine nonetheless. Absolutely, she's still looking good nonetheless. Okay. So, well, yeah, although she does lose the great chance of dodge for the high chance of dodge, and she loses that monstrous support right over here, in addition for her being able to get the crit chance and attack and defensive buildup, she still can get up to a 66% chance of dodge and crit, as well as additional 66% attack and defense. So you could say that makes up for it. She still doesn't get defense on her regular super attack effect, but it doesn't really matter considering the fact that you're going to be running a kill or a cabin on the same turn, but I'm going to go ahead and read out the super attack anyways. So it's a 50% uh, uh, attack in, for just one turn, and she does immense as well as lowers attack and defense. Okay. And a unit super is obviously the thing you're going to be seeing all the time because you're going to get that part of her kit off. So... The, yeah, she greatly stacks attack on it. Yeah, you're obviously going to be seeing this. <laughs> so she's greatly stacking attack while getting 30% defense for one turn. She's finally getting defense on super or super attack, of course, while well, unit super attack to be specific. Uh, while doing immense 
greatly lowering attack and defense and giving universe six characters 16 percent attack and defense for two turns from her three turns in her base so it goes from three turns to two turns okay so the support is technically still there because uh, meanwhile before you you were giving up to two key and like what 92 percent attack and defense i think that's what it was that's still a I'm pretty sure that's what the math was, unless I did the math incorrectly. You're still giving a crazy amount of support inside the base form. You're still giving solid support in the Super Saiyan form. From a passive, giving up to 2 key and 40% attack and defense, and additionally 16% attack and defense. That's, what, that's 2 key and 66% attack and defense? Pretty much within the same turn after her supering. Meanwhile, she's greatly stacking attack and gaining 30% defense one turn. So she's now getting a defensive buff from her passive to her super attack effect. She's pretty much giving up support for stats buffs crit chance as well as uh, yeah attack attack well pretty much that's that stat buffs too okay let's continue on the card <laughs> so her links change to super saiyan golden warrior and prepare for battle from some of the other links so yeah she has three links that do change and of course the activation condition you guys already know you have to have a cabby or kill attack in the same turn so the active skill is for super saiyan 2 so it does allow you to build up your attack from these unit supers so you can transform into super saiyan 2 can be activated upon entering the next attacking turn once only when hp is 66 percent or above or when there is an ally whose name is cave on the team transforms into super saiyan 2 okay so it could be activated immediately when your hp is above this hp threshold it shouldn't be too hard because it's only above 66 percent or more hp um Let's see what uh, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa is looking like. And of course, WR. Isn't this a Legends art? That does look good. That does look good. I don't know about Kale, though. Kale looks a little... I don't know. Uh, this like this this arm is just looking... I don't know. <laughs> Khalifa looks fire, but uh, Kale? I don't know, Kale. I don't know. <laughs> so, passive. Boundless Acceleration. Recovers 36% HP once only. Nice, you get immediate hp recovery and starts out with six key and 220 percent attack and defense at the start of turn and plus an additional 166 percent attack and 66 percent defense when performing a super attack so you get a monstrous amount of attack with of course a good amount of defense when you're performing a super in her passive well is it their passive no it's just it still is just super saiyan 2 khalif but you're still gonna get the unit super attack off right Anyways, uh, launch additional attack that has a 70% chance to come with super attack, just unrestricted, and a unrestricted 36% damage reduction, nice, and a chance to perform a crit plus 66%, so you have just a free 66% chance to crit, guards all attacks when there is another universe 6 character attacking in the same turn, all allies get a 6% chance to crit for 2 turns for each super attack performed in the turn okay so she's giving multi-turn crit chance support got six percent attack for two turns for each super attack performed in the turn yeah and additional 66 percent attack and defense and launch additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack or say 30 percent if there is an ally whose name is kale attacking in the same turn so yeah we want Kale when we get to Super Saiyan 2. Running either or of Kale or Kabe is fine. All the way up to Super Saiyan 2 because you definitely want this. So she does lose her foreseeing super attacks in this form. Which is fine completely. That is fine. I mean this character is going to be doing disgusting damage considering that they're greatly stacking attack. Is that a big hindrance that they're losing? I mean, come on now. This, this character has guard with 36% damage reduction. I just... Is meanwhile having a... 66 percent chance to crit a massive amount of attack in their passive as well as a good amount of defense when performing a super attack of course in their passive meanwhile having additional super attack chance yeah having two additional super attack chances built in so on that being one launching an additional attack that's a 70 percent chance to come a super attack as well as another one being a, a launching an attack that has a 30 percent chance to come a super attack i had a crazy brain fart i was thinking about something else so yeah and meanwhile giving crit chance support and yeah she doesn't give support in either of her super attack effects anymore for either of her unit super attacks too yeah it just gives crit chance support so you pretty much want to destroy the the boss with this character so hp recovery 
two additional super attack chances built in, 36% damage reduction, guard, 66% chance to crit, crit chance support, uh, I mean, attack and defense buff from the passive to the super attack effect. Yes, because inside the unit super attack two, she gets 50% attack for one turn as well as 30% defense for one turn two. Yeah. But you have to have a Super Saiyan 2 Kale. Okay, okay. Okay, so for the regular super attack, that being the double crush, 50% uh, attack for one turn while doing immense. And the first unit super attack, you get 100% attack for one turn while doing immense. So pretty much, this is the offensive oriented uh, transformation. <laughs> so offensive, this is the, basically a great two way oriented transformation. This is like a, this is also a good, uh, this is a good, uh, also a good two-way order. Yeah, this entire card is great as a two-way card, offensively and, de and defensively. Yeah, card's looking good. I, <laughs> card looks pretty damn good. You're going to be erasing the enemy inside this form, practically. You'd probably erase the enemy in this form, too. Although, this character in this form does not have any additional super attack chance to speak of. Yeah, probably not. No, you probably wouldn't. You you really want to just stack up your attack in this form and just transform it to Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa and just kill the enemy. Yeah. Base form looks strong. Uh, I would say the Super Saiyan form looks equally as strong. Yeah, I would probably say equally as strong. And Super Saiyan 2 is looking ridiculous. Um, This card does not have additional super attack chance inside there. Super Saiyan form. Let's say I glanced over it. No. Just has the foreseeing super attacks, the additional dodge chance, the dodge, the uh, double support, as well as uh, the the um attack defensive buff on super and their passive. And I like their base a lot. I really do. I like their base because they can get up to what? A, that's a 86% chance to dodge. They're giving up to two key and what's well, 90. I gotta redo the math while we're, while we're here. Let me just go ahead and do, do the math over again. Okay, so of course that's two key and 60% attack and defense in their passive as well as a additional 16%. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be this additional 16%. 76 and she, she also gives, uh, what's that? 16% attack and defense for three turns. So with that addition within a turn with her supering and her base form, of course, that is, yeah, it's 92. That's two key and 92% attack and defense. I adore this this base form although i am an offensive oriented guy this this form this is looking like i love support too i don't mind defensive like uh, characters either <laughs> but i i do love offense more than anything even though uh you know i respect that defense is the strongest thing in doka right now defense is the meta what, what can i say right i can't go against that i can't ever go against that because if i go against that i'm pretty much stupid right um so with that being said the uh the khalifa card's looking good I, I don't know what else to say. I would say, would I add anything to this, these cards? Do I ever do that in these videos? Probably not. I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, Connor, I mean, the dedication is out of this world. I did put a star in it so I can come back to this in the future. And I wrote down your name on the notepad. Of course, go ahead and send me custom cards to BHF custom cards at gmail.com uh, so I can review your cards in the future, as well as me getting these older custom cards out of the way. If you send me multiple custom cards, I'll write your name down on the notepad. Blah, blah, blah. Excuse me, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here because I have to go ahead and start streaming in about about 30 minutes. But yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I love you all. Peace.